let's just get right into it and let, let's talk about pie charts. I am, first of all, I am not one of those never pie chart people. Um, there are some people who insist there's never a, a good use of a pie chart. I do use pie charts. I just use them very rarely and very sparingly because I think the the cases where a pie chart makes most sense um, are, are few and far between, I guess. But um, I will say when I do use a pie chart, I think 80% of the time it's because the client insists on it. I've shown them something else, but they insist on a pie chart. Uh, we all have mortgages and you know re rent to pay. So um, if a client insists on it at the end of the day, you know they're the boss. But about 20% of the, those times, I do think it's the effective choice and I will go ahead and, and suggest that. So uh, that's sort of just setting it up uh, to begin with. Um, it's, it's a very small slice for me, that 20%, because for me to use a pie chart, I really think it has to have no more than four slices max. Usually for me, it's just two or three slices. Uh, the part to the whole has got to be really crucial to the storytelling. And the concept of 100% whole also has to be really important, not just there, but, but really crucial to the storytelling. So we've all seen things like this, right? <laughs> and, you know, I look at this and immediately it, it's breaking my two to four slice rule. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be a pie chart. But I, I want to talk a little bit about why pie charts are so ineffective. We, we can sort of instinctively know it's ugly and hard to look at, but it makes, when you have this many slices, it makes a uh, comparison incredibly difficult, right? I mean, you, these non-adjacent sl uh, slices and the angle of the slice, which is how you determine value in a pie chart, they're just incredibly hard to read and determine. Uh, 